Hai, ini Hasia ya. Saya bekerja di Bank Dan Tari Pusat semenjak 14 tahun. Semenjak Bank Dan Tari Pusat yang ditubuhkan dari tahun 2005. Saya punya tugas ialah mengumpulkan darah daripada hospital-hospital yang tengah ke sini. Terus kita hantarkan ke lab untuk diproses. Pada mulanya memang ramai tak dengar pasal darah tali pusat itu. Apa itu darah tali pusat? Darah tali pusat itu adalah remenan daripada bayi anda selepas kelahiran yang yang mengalir daripada uri hingga ke janinnya. Setelah dipotong, doktor akan mengambil darahnya daripada tali pusat ini. So what we do is that you have a report, birth report from the hospitals and you have the units and the maternal blood. In the pre-processing lab, we will evaluate, we will check for the identity and we will also check for the, for example, any leakage because the unit might possibly contaminate as well. And we also check for any sign of clots. But at the same time, the doctor will collect the blood from the mothers. This is to check for the uh, infectious disease. It's actually a very strict evaluation process. These things, after being processed, goes into the patients. Therefore, it's very important to make sure that they are actually safe because it's life or death. On average, we receive about 20 per day. So all these bloods actually come from all the 10 delivery hospitals in Singapore. So at the end of processing, the cycle takes about 40 minutes. We will check to determine the final cell count inside. After they've done this 40 minutes, right, what happens is that then they will add the cryoprotectant to the unit to protect the cells because they are going to freeze them for long term. So for long-term storage, actually we freeze this unit at minus 186 degrees. So when it reaches minus 160 degrees, we transfer it from the control rate freezer into the nitrogen storage tank. So we will switch on this one tank and it will supply to the whole storage tank. So this is how, how a unit looks like. To prevent the unit from being exposed to the environment for too long, every time when we look for one unit, once we take it out, we have to complete this process within three minutes. Each of these tanks can hold over 1,000 hot blood units. When we get the green light from the medical director, this unit will go out. How it goes out, regardless it's local or international, we will ship in this cryo shipper. So for local, for, for Singapore Transplant Centre, they will send in a research request to the lab and we will perform the, the match for them. A lot of cases from Malays, we do notice that they couldn't find a match here. The reason being that the pool of the cobra unit we have is quite limited. We need more donations because then it will increase the pool for, for Malays. When there's a search request come, it's easier for the patients to find a match. This cobra unit is actually very vital to save life, especially for those um, with blood cancers. Basically, this sum up how our daily operations in the SCBB lab. Ini betul masalah untuk mereka. Boleh tak di segi Islam kita mendermakan darah tali pusat? Di hukum syarak ini dibenarkan kerana sudah diluluskan daripada pejabat mufti muiz. Yang keduanya, boleh tak mengambil presentannya atau urinya untuk dia tak nak? Beritahu saja lah the ward staff ya, supaya tak buang presentannya. Proses ni tak mendatangkan kesakitan. Ibu-ibu tak terjejas dengan kerana bayinya pun tak merasa sakit apa-apa. Ada yang withdraw, ada darah ni tak sesuai untuk diproses. Jadi daripada 5000 tu tak sampai separuh kadang kita dapat collect untuk diterima sesuai ke tidak untuk sakit mungkin lagi rendah. Asal mereka sehat, boleh apanya, please come forward untuk merawat sesiapa yang memerlukannya itu sangat-sangat diharapkan lah. You know, daripada terbuang, begitu saja. Ini satu rezeki so, ha, untuk mereka dan untuk sakit. Bayi mereka adalah satu hero yang telah menderma darah.